Hello there, my fellow ham radio and amateur radio enthusiasts. I have a new toy to show you. This is the BTEC UV50 Pro. Just got this today. I'm gonna do a quick little review on this in an unboxing, show you all some of the programming and some of the features to it. $329 from Amazon. I will provide a link in the description. I am an Amazon associate, so I do earn a small commission. I'll meet you over at the bench and we will unbox this. All right, welcome to the bench. 50, 25, and eight watts. Does have a USB port, it does have GPS. Does have Bluetooth, APRS, and has a AI noise reduction system. What's in the box? Top here, we have a mounting bracket, the instruction manual, a manual for the programming. And by the way, this says UV programmer and GMRS programmer. This does not work on GMRS. From what I understand, I know that there was a recent review on Amazon where a person was very upset about that. I don't know why you would buy this being listed as a ham radio and expect it to also work on GMRS. It doesn't always happen that way. And we also have the little card to help you get this set up on your tablet or smartphone. All right. <laughs> Look at this. There's your microphone slash display panel slash buttons, power up down. Very nice. Cord and your microphone connector. Little bag of looks like you've got a your microphone holder, various screws and whatnot, nuts washers, lock washers for mounting, and your fuses. Whole thing comes out there. Your power cord. Warning, do not transmit without antenna. Good advice, B-Tech. And there is your main little unit. And it's a little bit smaller than what I thought, which is what she said. There is your USB port, which by the way, this is not for programming. This is basically so that you can plug something in to charge it. Microphone attachment, couple LED lights there, power, transmit, receive. So you guys can see, that's my hand compared to the size of this. It's a little, it's, it's nice, it's pretty compact. I like that. The back of the rig, fan, your antenna attachment, power cord with, fuses, holes on the side to use the bracket. Let's throw some power on it. Got the microphone hooked up, got the antenna hooked up in the back here, and we got the power. Use some Anderson power poles to connect into a battery. All right, so let's go ahead and power this up. Cool. I just wanted to quickly go over the buttons, the several buttons that are on this microphone, quick little thing here. I'm not gonna go over every single button function on this, which you can change, by the way. The next frame or two here is gonna be just a screenshot from the manual for this showing the button functions. Just to note, this attachment, this comes out, you press that little right there, a little tab and this little clip on the back comes out. But what I like about this is it comes with the regular microphone attachment as I will call it. Nice. So I decided that instead of trying to program a channel in off the microphone, you know what? I bought this pretty much with the sole purpose of using this with the Bluetooth. If you do wanna program this off the front here, it's not bad, but I gotta be honest with you, I, I didn't buy it for that. Yeah, let's just, let's just go to Bluetooth. Let's get to pairing this to our phone. First thing that you wanna do is power button. You wanna double press that. Now we've entered pairing mode. Get the phone set up here. Yeah, you can just go on the 
Play Store, Apple Store, and it tells you in the manuals which program to download. So a few minutes later. Okay, I did have a little bit of an issue, and I'm not gonna blame BTEC for it. This may be because I'm using a phone that is a little bit older. We also had to do a firmware update. Let's take a look at the app. So after connecting, I'm gonna go ahead and program a simplex channel. And the first one that I'm gonna program is gonna be the APRS national frequency. What you do is you long press the channel that you wanna program it to. You have these two things that come up, edit channel. You put your title in, and that is 144390000. Hit OK. Since this is a simplex channel, I don't really need to program much more than that. But as you can see, if you hit more, it does give you a lot more options. So we're going to go ahead and hit save. We have channel one, APRS national. Another quick little note right on the top there you're gonna see what looks like a little phone symbol. If you see that, that means that the radio is connected Bluetooth to another device. Let's program channel two to be a repeater. Stand by. Back to the app here. We're gonna long press number two. We're gonna hit edit channel. And this one is going to be programmed to a two meter repeater. Go down to the frequency. Okay, let's clear this out. It's going to be 147225. We're going to hit more. Then we are going to, since this does have an offset, we're then going to put in the offset frequency. And this is plus 0.6 megahertz. 147.82500. Do you have a CTCSS? And that is 100 hertz. We leave it on high. Everything else looks good. So we're gonna hit save. Let's see if it works and what it sounds like. Let me see if I can find a station that is uh, got somebody talking on it, so we can hear. It. The APRS is way easier to set up off of the app, but in the settings here, you do have to change if you go to menu and go down to general settings. Sorry, I'm trying to get the glare off there, guys. And then go down to digital mode. Go down to format. As it comes from the factory, this is set to the BBS or BSS. So you do have to change that if you want to hit the APRS network. This is very easy to use. Uh, you do have a TNC in here. So if you want to use something like APRS Droid, you can do that. Yeah, pretty nice. So a couple little extra features here that the weather channels in here and also has the FM radio. Highs around 20, Monday night, mostly cloudy. If you need to on the back, yeah, looks like there's a port for an external speaker over towards this side on the back. Also, you can hook up the Bluetooth speaker that BTEC has. VGC makes a Bluetooth headset, microphone, whatever you want to call this. Now, I don't know if that would work with the BTEC. That might be an option too. I mean, then you can just disconnect this and just use the Bluetooth. <laughs> that makes it even better. Sorry about the not great picture. The repeaters are dead today. So this is not the most ideal setup. I realize that you guys, please don't call the ham police on me. What I've got here is the radio set up on the seat here. I got the battery in the box there. And I'll show you the antenna, how I got the antenna set up. Again, this is not ideal. I know that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the weather radio on this. I got it muted right now so that you guys can kind of hear it of what it sounds like in the car as I'm driving. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna start driving here. Northwest winds five to 10 miles per hour. Snow accumulation up to half an inch. Snow. Near yes. steady temperature chance of precipitation. So I'm driving about for Saturday night. 55, 50. It is pretty windy out right now. Near steady temperature I can hear it pretty well. All right, I'll catch you guys in a second. By the time I got here, um, yeah, it got dark, so I've got both of the uh, lights on here. 
So one of the things that I wanted to show here is the AI noise reduction. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put it on one of the weather channels, find one that is you know a little bit scratchy and then see if it makes a difference. Turn the AI noise reduction on and see what happens. This is without, this is without the AR noise reduction on. Storm watch remains in effect from late Friday night through late Saturday night. Scattered snow showers, mostly cloudy. Okay, to activate your AI noise reduction, you go to your menu, the radio settings. Okay, and then you can scroll up or down and there it is, A-I-N-R. So let's go ahead and put that on. Return, no weather. For Tuesday, mostly cloudy. Highs around 20. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy. Highs in the low. A chance of snow showers. I uh, couldn't quite get that one. So there you have it. I've had this radio for about three days now. I've been kind of playing around with the APRS, which yes, I'm an APRS geek. Sorry, K8 MRD ham radio tube. Let me give you some pros and cons. Let's start off with the cons. I had to write it down here. The first con that I put down, and you guys saw when I used it for the weather channels, and that is the AI noise reduction. I didn't really think it was that great, but they can easily update that in the firmware. Super easy to do off the app. My second little gripe is that I wish it came with a longer mic cord. Now, they do sell a longer one from B-Tech. I kind of wish it just came with it, but no big deal. Also, trying to program that radio from the mic itself, it's it's a pain because you don't have a, a numeric keypad. Also, you have to scroll like to put your frequencies in and but if you're buying this radio, just, just hook it up to Bluetooth and use the app. Another little gripe, but this may be on me. I did have trouble setting this up on the Bluetooth. Hold on a second. BTEC actually makes a separate manual for it. Programming and setting up the Bluetooth. Follow this. And once I went back and read this, it was no problem. Pros. I love that this thing is so compact. I know that a lot of people may not take this into consideration, but one of the reasons why I didn't get the FTM 310 or the FTM 510 from Yesu, which were the two radios that I was looking at buying before I got this, was that I would have the head unit sitting there where if somebody walked by, they could look in the car and they could see that there's some kind of radio in there and they might be tempted to break into it. This thing you can hide. You can hide the mic for it pretty easy. And if that Bluetooth mic from VGC works in that, mwah, the app is so simple. I'm, I'm gonna just make a small little rant here. Yesu, Icom, Kenwood, uh, Alinko, whoever, you should strive to make programming and working with the radio that easy. It shouldn't be a matter of flipping through menu to sub menu to another sub menu to a sub 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 menu. Knock it off with all that. Sometimes I just want something to work. I want to turn it on, maybe make a few adjustments that are easy to do, which it is with this app. Even if you still make a radio that has buttons, knobs, and the whole nine yards, you can make it much easier by using an app like that. And I know you guys can do it. Maybe don't give hats out one year and then, you know, do that. I love that it has a TNC in it, a built-in TNC, so that that way, if you wanna use something like APRS Droid, you can. The sound, I actually was slightly surprised that it was a little bit better than what I thought it would be for that the microphone that has like everything in it. The sound really wasn't that bad. And one of the reasons why I bought this over the other radios that I just talked about was the value for this. It's so easy to set up. If you don't wanna use the mic, you can just use the app. The big question, would I recommend this radio? Yeah, I would. I think it's great. Like I said, I've only had it for about three days now. I really like it. I am, like Leonard Skinner said, I am a simple man. And this thing is simple. It's, it's really very easy. If you can use an app on your smartphone or a tablet, you won't have any problems. If you're used to using this puppy, ah, sorry guys, the UV Pro or even the VGC uh, N76, I believe. So even if you're used to using one of those, this is a piece of cake. So yes, 
I would highly recommend the B-Tech UV50 Pro, especially for 329 bucks. All right, make sure that you check out the links in the description. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave in the comments what you guys think. I'd love to know. This radio isn't for everybody, but for me, it checked a lot of boxes and it was a lot cheaper. 73, catch y'all later. YouTube wants you to watch these videos.